Fuck September, all that. Numbers. September, I remember September, what I want to talk right. about now. This nigga tripping, son. We going back for your parties and functions. It's so my body can function without me blowing up, holding up, trying, folding up. Wasn't an option growing up. So you know damn well it ain't one now. Take a break, roll it up, splash it down. All right, guys, welcome back to the Interpersonal Podcast. This is episode three. I'm your host, Chris. I'm your host, Greg. I'm your host, Marvin. And today we are joined by a very special guest, a friend of the show, They Love XV. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's appropriate right there. Facts. For those of you who don't know, we recorded two episodes before the first episode came out. Yeah. And in those two episodes, those episodes will never see the light of day unless you're willing to pay. <laughs> and um, <laughs> yeah, so those episodes were our tester episodes in a sense, so we could get to know like what, like what are we gonna sound like, like how are we gonna do this. And in our first episode, we were interrupted by by they love XV over here. Hey, bro, I wouldn't call it an interruption. It was it, it was it was it was a pleasant it was a pleasant interruption. That shit was mad random and spontaneous, but it worked. Hey, special Jim, if you've seen this hat, it was in the intro. It's in the intro. XV was spotted. A special guest. I've been on here. I'm not a fucking special guest. I'm a host. <laughs> been here. Bro <laughs> trying to promote himself. <laughs> J-O, this J-O hat. Shameless plugs, bro. We here for it. Y'all know how we start this. Tell us about your week. How was y'all Labor Day weekend? What y'all did? You know, was y'all productive? Or what, what y'all did? I worked this weekend, bro. Yeah. But on Labor Day, I, I was off. Uh, went to a little celebration. Uh, the Young Lords Collective dropped a magazine. Y'all should definitely check that out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. My friend Chris, your yes, host sir. Chris, yes sir, has we an are, entry on. We it, officially fire. officially published fire fire the Williamsburg War Zone. Stop you know, playing with this man. Go go cop up. Go cop up. Indeed. But yeah, that that made Labor Day very interesting. Not gonna lie. Yeah, had a chill weekend. We Just went to like, the the magazine party. A smooth transition into my begin, my start of the school year that I just started today. Had a pretty good day. First day, right? Yeah. Nice seeing everybody again. Did you have any like first day jitters? No. no you, you, I pretty much know what to expect at this point. I was like, about to say, like, you think you passed that point? I feel like college is like, you know how like in high school, like, as the years goes on, like it gets like harder. And college is just like, you know, it's that first year of getting adjusted. And then like every other year is the same. It's it's kind of sort of like the same workload each year. So How about you, XV? Uh, my weekend, I, I'm, I, it wasn't productive at all. I, ain't this I got drunk all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like a productive weekend. That's what I did. I got drunk all weekend. The only way to spend Labor Day weekend. Labor Day, I ain't do shit because I'm from Crown Heights. So, like, you know, I got the jitters with Labor Day, you know. So I don't mm-hmm. go. You didn't go to the West Indian parade? But I just said I'm from Crown Heights. Like, I got the jitters. I know. Me. That's what I'm that saying. Was you, like, got, you gotta. I grew up with that shit being up the block. <laughs> 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 Niggas wake up every juve to mad bands coming down the block. <laughs> I ain't go this year, but I heard it was mad lit and active, like every year. I heard another nigga got shot this year. That's crazy. I didn't hear that. It's like, they don't that's miss like a tradition. Year. They don't miss a year, bro. That's like tradition. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's, is it Labor Day if a nigga ain't get shot for real? Like, <laughs> it's New York. Somebody die every day. <laughs> but Labor day. day specifically. But Labor Day, yeah. It's like a certain days where like if a nigga ain't die, it ain't for real. Like, like Halloween. And that day ain't happen. Oh, God. Ain't... Like if a nigga ain't die on 4th of July in New York, was it really 4th of July? Yes. <laughs> that's not what, the, what our ancestors fought for. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas got to die on the 4th. <laughs> I think niggas <laughs> finally. I think niggas finally got over like dying on like New Year's. I don't think niggas die on New Year's no more. Or did, nah, niggas still die. If you die on New Year's, that's sad. It's mostly just nah, birth. This might be too deep, but I feel like I feel like suicide rates gotta go up on, on New Year's. Probably. Damn. Damn. I keep on failing my Damn. New Year's resolutions. <laughs> <laughs> Done with this shit. Imagine like you been fat for mad New Year's and everything. Damn. Resolution. Damn. You want to kill yourself. That being said, my Labor Day weekend was actually pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Coney Island. Uh, I rode the Ferris wheel. Yeah, I was shooting some shit, so I needed to be at the Ferris wheel. Okay. Saw the fireworks. Then I went to the beach, Labor Day. Valid. My weekend was pretty good. Um, it was the release of the, the magazine, so I'm officially published. This is my first publishing. It was a little bit weird at first, I'm not going to lie. Like I definitely suffered with a little bit of imposter syndrome like when I was there. I was just like, yeah, I just couldn't believe it. And it didn't really hit me that like, wow, like like something that I wrote is actually out. 
until like towards the end of it. But I'm glad I went. I made some connections, you know. It was a good networking opportunity as well. But I was glad to like have my friends there too to support me. Hey, bro. Take pride in that, bro. You did that. You deserve it, bro. Yes, sir. Right. But now that we know how each other's weeks are, let's let's jump right into it. You know, we got our special guest XV here, and he's gonna talk to us about what he got coming up. What's 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 in the works? Uh, music. You know, mm-hmm. I make that. Mm-hmm. So that should what's, definitely tune in. Yeah, that's what's coming up. There's no there's no project coming up. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm about to drop one of those. You about to drop one of those? Yeah, right. I'm about to drop one of those next month. All right, all right. We've been peeping the rollout. I'm trying, bro. I'm not really like I'm doing bad, but I'm trying. Miscellaneous singles here and there. Before the, I kind of I kind of been noticing the vibe. Like it's 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 a little. I don't know how to explain it, but it reminds me like a little bit of like Meek Mill with Champions, a little bit. No, I don't know right. if that's a good comparison. <laughs> I mean, no, in this, no. I know artists be listening to people describe their music and just be like, "No, no, no." no. That I'm, not say, I'm not. I'm not saying that. That that's exactly what it sounds like. You know like. what's crazy? I wanna, I hate to cut you off, but like, I swear to God, I knew somebody would make that comparison just because of the name wins and losses. Like, I knew someone would bring up. Me Honestly, deal. that's not even why I'm bringing it up. I'm bringing it up like especially with the like. Kind of the beat in wins and losses more than than the name of wins and losses itself, but okay. I like the I, I and I say and I say Meek Mill esque like that not because of the name but because I say it, it makes me feel a similar way to like like Meek Mill in a sense like like that Champions album, okay. and then, you know that should make you feel like a winner. That's hard. I appreciate that. Um, no, but yeah, you know I appreciate it. I, I, <laughs> 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 no, nah, I don't even know how to like describe what I'm about to drop. For real. It's just really I'm about to, I'm about to rap, mm-hmm. and I think that's what's interesting because I don't know if either any of y'all are familiar with my first project. I listened to it. You did. I appreciate that. But again, you should. I'm not you familiar. Should, you, should you should tune in. You gotta tune in. I'll man. tune in after this. But yeah, anybody that is familiar with me as an artist is not familiar with me as a rapper. Mm-hmm. For real, you know, like I don't, I don't rap like that. You no, know, I rapped on like the outro to that project, but like other than that, like nobody's ever really heard me rap. Like I rap on Dennis songs, but um, yeah, I've never dropped no shit on myself like rapping. So yeah, I'm about to do that. I'm about to drop a whole rapping ass project, a whole lot of bars. You about to get on your lyrical miracle shit? Relax. <laughs> I got bars. Do we gotta dissect their bars? Like, <laughs> um, I mean, I feel like only dumb niggas gotta dissect my bars. I think if if you get it, you, you don't get it. Like, it's all right. All right. Is, do you know like? The story or the motivation behind the album already? Yeah. Nah, it's not even like it's not really much of a conceptual album, I'd say. Mm. It kinda it kinda is, you know, but not not really. So you just gonna be dropping heat on this album then? Pretty much, you know, just I was gonna ask that like just how did you conceptualize it? But it's just um, gonna be bars. I I'm start, here for it. I started this this album. Like I was trying to make like a, a big pro- I, I keep calling it an album It's not an album But like you know, I, keep, I was trying to make like a big project You know what I'm saying So I made a couple songs And like it was like a mixture of shit And then like I would listen to it And like certain shit just Didn't sound right and, You know So I decided to break it up You know So like It was it was like two different it Ended up becoming two different projects Pretty much I'm gonna fuck with that Or so it's gonna like switch. So you basically had two for one in this one project. No, no, no. This no. This, this one project is one project, but I, I'm gonna have another one coming. Uh, yeah, pretty I see, soon. I see, I see. You about to go back for back? Pretty soon. Yeah. It's been a while since I, I ain't dropped nothing since like 2021. Like you know, mm-hmm. I'll be thinking I'm famous or something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, it takes time to cook, bro, and yeah. cultivate. So um, that's yeah. like truly special to you that you want to share with other people. So it's true. It's I true. get that. But yeah, I'm about to drop. About to drop two pound of at top real quick. You know what I'm saying? We be here for it. My best friend calling me. She gonna get mad if I don't answer. <laughs> hey, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm in a pot. I'm in a podcast with some light skinned niggas. <laughs> <laughs> hi guys. She said hi guys. Uh, okay, call me back. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that was my best. Yes. Shout out to Zakira. Shout out to Zakira. <laughs> what was he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> we was talking about the project delve into like I don't know your beginnings as an artist yeah like what was your like first like introduction to music like what made you want to become a musician 
Like, I ain't gonna lie. I smoked too much weed to remember like the first intro because I've been, I've been, I don't know which one I've been doing longer. For... Smoking or just? <laughs> yeah, I swear to God, <laughs> <laughs> I, God I don't know which one I've been doing longer. Like, so, nah, I, like I've been recording music since I was like twelve, mm-hmm. but like twelve, twelve or like eleven or some shit. Yeah, I was definitely just like singing to like bitches and shit when I was in like fifth grade and shit. <laughs> Yeah, bitches used to like my voice. I couldn't sing that well at all, but they did like that. So that's what I did. Uh, I did a couple of talent shows and shit, singing like Maroon 5. Type shit. Yeah. Uh, I tried <laughs> to go to LaGuardia audition for them. But <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I can't tell you the introductions. Like I've just been recording music since like 11, 12, whatever. You've been doing this shit for a minute. I'm 10 years in out of 50. A vet. What would you hear in like your household though? Like what, like, what music like would your moms be playing? Mad like Neo, Mad Neo, fucking like the Dream, Usher. <laughs> what else? Uh, Jasmine Sullivan. Y'all are chuckling. Oh. Them, all the motherfuckers is fire. Yeah, That's straight they are flock right there. Cause we could relate, bro. It's yeah. Flock, gang. straight fire. But yeah, that's about it. You know what I'm saying? Well, like you know, it was hip hop. You know, like Jay Z, Fifty Cent, shit like that. But it was it's a lot like, of R and B. This is kind of similar to the first question, but when did you realize that you wanted to take it seriously? That's like all I ever wanted to do. Like, I never wanted to do nothing else. <laughs> it was either this or smoke weed. <laughs> nah, not even like... Both like, of it. Like, not both. Even before I was recording music, like, as a child, I would just, like, do, like, you know, corny shit. Like, I was performing fucking songs in the living room and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. So, it's like, oh, it's... Like, I wanted to be a fucking lawyer, in like fifth grade, just because I like to argue a lot. Then I was like, nah, that's mad school, so I can't do that, you know? And like, that's the only other thing. I school wanted to be a Marine everybody. too, because I like guns. Yeah. <laughs> then I was I like, nah, shit. I don't want to die, so I'm going to just stick to music. Like, that's <laughs> true American that's right here. It was. Nah, I just like guns. It's not about, you know, fighting for the country. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants to shoot. I Americans to shoot like niggas. guns, bro. Yeah, Americans do like guns. That's true. <laughs> and Usher. How does your creation process go? I get high, you know. Um, I feel it. Yeah, I get high. I listen to beats, you know. Uh, and it just comes. I be fucking just mumbling shit for real. And then, like, melodies come to my head and shit. Like, you know, Kanye would, like, mumble words. I don't know. I need to get on I feel like I would make way better songs if I did. Because I mumble better melodies than I write. But when I'm rapping, I usually just get on. Yeah, over and over. <laughs> yeah. Just fill up the top. Yeah, until the right year hit. And when the right year hit, I'll be like, yeah, then I get right. For real. Well, how many yeah tapes do you, do you do? I say yeah a lot. Yeah, yeah, and bitch. It comes up a lot in my fucking recordings. <laughs> yeah, bitch. You know, shit like that. Well, if you know XV, he loves to smoke weed, bro. I do love to smoke weed. I do have a question for you. Yeah. Why can't you smoke a spliff without a grabber? Damn. Bro. I've been... <laughs> Damn. I've been smoking... Dude. This the grabber goblin right here. All friends have a grabber demon in the group, bro. bro I've been smoking weed since, like... It was, like, 10. Damn. And 10? I came into weed with, like, frontal leaf. You know what I'm saying? Like, strips. I remember that back in high school, you know rolling with like, strips. Niggas, niggas didn't really start with the whole grabber shit. Until yeah. Recently. Like, niggas were straight... Strips and, and like blunts. We used to have makeshift grabber. Like you would light up yeah, the leaf make, and then yeah. crumble it niggas up. Niggas did like, that, but shit. like in, when I first started smoking, niggas wasn't really using grabber for like, organic grabber. Mainly like strips and like fucking like backwoods and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really ever really fucked with blunts though, but like I always fucked with Fronto. So like, all my splits was always. I used to roll big ass fucking strips. Like always, you know what I'm saying? But all my splits was always just hot since the beginning. You know, so. I just like hot splits, bro. I can't smoke without a hot tea, bro. I don't, I don't even want to hit the split if there's no grab in it. One time in high school, I ain't have no papers, and I just rolled it in the grabber, bro. Not grabber, in the been fucking fronto leaf, bro. That's like that's a backwood, bro. We've all been there, bro. That's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I've rolled splits in wild things before. Like, that's nothing. I think we've all done, like, Bible paper. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Bible paper? Not you smoking paper. off the Bible page? Not Bible. You, did, you said Bible paper? It's real. Th- you know, like the little pocket Bibles? 
You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You go cut out like the back page that got no no ink on it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so you didn't choose like one of the actual. I mean, once you run out of them pages with ink, <laughs> so I you run out of the pages with no ink. You, you got to You got to go straight for the ones with a little passage on it. You start with Old Testament, New like, Testament. Oh, yeah, I mean, shit. I like, do you know. pick a certain passage? Like, like uh, I can't. I can't take this one. This is Adam and Eve. <laughs> it don't matter the psalm or nothing. <laughs> I done rolled up in a receipt before. I done rolled up in stupid shit. Like, Damn. Dumb shit. Damn. I never I never been there. Yeah. I'm saying like we used to get like the Arizona bottle, you know what I'm saying? Take the top off, put some like a little tin foil like bowl type shit in there, poke holes in that, like cut a hole in the side of the bottle, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then put your weed on the top and you like you you keep water in the bottom like a regular bong and like either you would suck from the side of the bottle pause. Or I don't got to pull shit, but yeah, <laughs> stuff on the side of the bottle. <laughs> or you would put like a straw in there or some shit like that, and like you would hit it like a bond. I never thought to do that. Great. That's some genius level intellect. I got a question. <laughs> what, yeah. what does what does XV stand for? Like, where did that name come from? It's just a lucky number. They love XV. Also, it's Roman numerals. Yeah. They love 15. That's your favorite number? Uh, it was. When I made the name, I thought your name was Xavier or something. When I first met you, I've lied to so many people. Oh uh, yeah, my name is Xavier Vera. What, what, what is what is <laughs> your real name? Last name. My name is Shamar. It's a stupid Shamar too. Like my mom was in like, she wanted to be extra. She mm-hmm. spelled it with a C. So C H C H E Shamar Shamar. Mad extra. <laughs> I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start calling him Fifth. That's bad. I, don't, I hate that shit. Don't My son rejects do that shit. Don't call that nigga. Fit, I hate bro. that shit. Bro. I'm XV. I'm not like I'm not the number fifteen. I'm XV. Siri call me XV. I hate that shit. You could change that. For real? Yeah. You just gotta go into your settings. Nah, but I mean, like on other people's phone, like, they'd be like, XV is calling. <laughs> no, it'd be a fifteen. Like, that shit that happened to me today. I'm on the train. This nigga FaceTime me. I'm fifteen. 15 bro. Like, like what? Who the fuck? Yo, <laughs> I hate that shit, bro. Siri gotta get that shit. Apple. Get that shit together. My name is XV. They're going to get it one day. I think I think they're going to have to actually like put, like, you know, like with the pronunciation, with the, like the... Oh, God. It's going to be like when you, the you can't type in Donald Trump name without it coming up in, on caps and shit. We have a avid Trump supporter in the building today. Chill. What if my great-grandma watched it? <laughs> <laughs> she go, she go, no, go man, crazy. No. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, nah, I don't support Trump. Bro. Biden or Trump? <laughs> I didn't know Biden and Trump Yo grandmama I love you <laughs> But like Biden sucks But like We're not going into that Like that, we not, I don't want to be that podcast It's like, not a political podcast I Women it. Stop <laughs> All alpha males In this month No nah, No <laughs> No This is not into No No This is not It's a personal <laughs> This is not fresh and fit <laughs> Y'all not trying to be on that He's <laughs> No Y'all not with that Bleep. <laughs> <laughs> All this gonna have dolphin sound effects. I'm voting yay though. Bro, I wanted Are to you vote. Dead ass, though? I wanted to I'm vote yay in no. 2020. You you said Biden or Trump? I I, I vote. I vote Trump. yay. I'm voting for the president that got his <laughs> shit sucked in the boat in Italy. <laughs> My boy got banned off the company. I don't think he give a fuck about that. He don't. He don't give a fuck about getting banned. I'm not. Adidas was like, fuck you. He was like, fuck you. Aren't they still selling his shit? Or am I they needed him. And they made like most of their profit from Back. they did they that. Needed. Cancel culture is crazy. Like Fuck it really culture. starts with one like company or entity like making a statement and then it's just like domino effect. Like you see mad other companies that got nothing to do with it saying, Oh, you're banned from this. But people don't really get canceled <laughs> anymore. I feel like it's more I don't feel like canceling is a real thing. I think it's canceling a suspension. It's a suspension if anything. If you know that nigga in real life, like you're not canceled. I don't even bro. think like, it's even like a suspension thing because you got to understand like fan bases are fan bases. So like even when the baby was like canceled, like the baby's fans were still under all his comments. Why like, did they try to fire. cancel the baby again? I don't know. You talking about like age or something? Like that. he said, oh, if you yeah. if you if you suck some dick in the parking lot, you yeah. got like <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. If you don't got AIDS and this shit, make some noise or some shit like that. He, he said some wild. He shit. was really attacking. Say like, shout out to you if you don't got AIDS. But nobody that's was saying was like, nobody was saying a word when he came up with shake some. Cause that shit hard. That, that shit yo, was, he, I ain't gonna lie. That was his comeback. Yeah, like that was a great comeback. One of the best comebacks. I feel like ever. Gunna had the best like comeback. When like, people go to like jail and you on trial and like you come home and you got that snitch stigma around you, like yeah, they don't fuck with you as hard as they did. Like niggas gotta respect Gunna. Gunna's like, like 
throbbing right now. Well, y'all see how much weight he lost? Yo, bro, like, he at this point, like, he getting right. Like, just in case, like, Thug come out and want to fight. <laughs> <laughs> Ready like. We need that boxing match ASAP he sm- He's getting right right now First of all Dirk wants no smoke With Gunner right now Gunner's <laughs> knocking that nigga The fuck out <laughs> Oh god Like he getting right For just that Like nigga call him a snitch But not to his face Cause he gone <laughs> <laughs> He had to come out prepared He, he getting right right Yeah That's What if a- they not even beef In whole time And this beef between Thug and Gunner Made up right now like, uh, bro, none of that shit even matters. Bro. I mean, whether it is or isn't, you can't lie. Like, nobody, nobody can sit here and say that. Like, even though like that's going on, you'd be lying if it, Gun, both Gunna and Thugger would be lying if they said that the like at least the media attention around it didn't get to their head a little bit. Like, you definitely start to think about it. Like, you, you I saying mean, you like, could definitely see that with Gunna because he addressed yeah. mad shit in his like most recent project. So it was like, I feel like that's eating both of them up. Like from the inside, like like that's if if I if me and you, <laughs> if, <laughs> if, that's like if me and you go to jail, and I I end up I I just leave, you are not gonna have some questions like, this nigga Chris Rat, I'm pretty sure Thug is informed on like what Gunna did and like what At implications point, yeah. that has seen the on clip. his case. Man, so fuck it's like, all that shit, my nigga. I'm dropping next month. Fuck if Thug is in. <laughs> Can we get a release date? It's gonna be late in the month. It's gonna be it's gonna be spooky. Can we get a number of tracks? It's going to be more than the last project. More than the last project. That's all you need to know. Dropping late next go, month. Go look at, go look and listen to the last project to find out. Oh, coming out yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's two runners up. Uh, the, first, the first project, my baby, so let's test that before I drop so you can get acquainted. But talking about music, let's uh, let's do a little shift. If you noticed, XXX Tentacion posted on his IG and Twitter. Why the fuck would I have noticed that? <laughs> 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 nah, I'm sorry to interrupt, bro, but now that I got it, I'm sorry. It's a whole different like topic, bro. But like for real, for real, <laughs> when a famous nigga die, I automatically unfollow. You automatically unfollow. What am I following you for? Because at get that it. point, it's not dumb post. That's what I don't get though. Like when niggas die, they following count. That should be going up. up. Like millions, bro. Like millions of people like, start follow. Like what are you following for at this point, bro? It, it, it serves no purpose, bro. You're not it's gonna like, get new content. <laughs> But how do you feel about like um, labels dropping for like people that are dying, like their post posthumous like albums? If the artist like is okay with it, like also, I mean, how shit. are they how are they gonna know? Not because I think some artists can like make that in their contract. Right. I feel like that's a more recent thing though. Think about it. Prince been dead how long? Ain't no posthumous Prince was coming out. Uh, only posthumous Prince shit you got was like fucking uh, reference tracks that he put out, like he gave to niggas. But like you ain't getting no. I don't release Prince because he made sure that that shit wasn't happening. And it's like up to some artists if they want to record the sounds so yeah. that they can make the music with the noises. I take back what I said. I said that shit was dumb, but no. Like if you have like a finished body of work that you wanted to drop before you died and you just like some shit happened, sure, drop it. If it's like a complete body of work that you feel was finished before you died, drop it. But like, what I don't agree with is like milking them years after their death because like he died when we were freshmen in high school we're in college we're juniors in college I remember that day like it was yesterday too bro bro we got out of school that day that was like the last day of like the <laughs> testing like at the end of the year and I got out the train I got the notification I'm like damn bro like what if it's in the situation of Juice World where he already had a lot of tracks recorded, just never released? But still though, like you, you don't know if he wanted to release those. Like when he was alive, they were in the vault for a reason. Mm-hmm. And it's like years after his death. Like at this point now, like you got his label still releasing shit. Lil Bibby is never letting go of <laughs> the cash cow that Probably Juice not. World was, bro. Like, uh, Uzi, Uzi had a really good take on it Like he was saying that like Yo like if I die Don't put me on a track With a person that I was not fucking with Because they do that sometimes And uh, y'all seen how Pop Smoke's album went Like he's still dropping even. Nah he's done They they ran out of shit for him Yeah they, they No more music That was a side one bro It was like damn Rest like, in peace he to Pop He really was on the way up And it, it was like he went before his prom Like was even reached But like even then He was still going crazy So crazy damn do, do any of y'all oh, yeah, I know I know you got Spotify You got Spotify No you got Apple oh, Music Spotify. But Apple um music How do you feel about Spotify charging for lyrics Apple Music gang Apple Music gang Yeah 
Yeah. <laughs> Apple Music. Apple Music. That's why we we use Apple Music over yeah. here. Marvin Team okay. Spotify though. Nope. I don't know. Damn, what? Spotify like since when? Didn't you post like using Spotify? Bro, that was just for promotion. Yeah, um, I do that too. Just showing that okay. you could find it yeah. anywhere. <laughs> but yeah, but actually for I'm podcasts, mistaken. yeah. Sometimes I use Spotify for podcasts, but that's it. Because you can download it for free without even being like a premium member. Mm. But then really you get just, ads. Not if you download it. I feel like because I got an iPhone, I need Apple Music. <laughs> that's so the way Apple friend. wants it. I was about to say f- Spotify, but What's we so can't. better about <laughs> Spotify for real? Yo, we actually, we're, aren't we on their platform? Hey, by, we by Spotify. Love Spotify, <laughs> Yo, Spotify. Shout out Spotify. Shout out Spotify. <laughs> Shout out Spotify, but pay, paying for lyrics is some I bullshit. love Spotify. I use Spotify on all my devices, bro. Like for real, bro. But you only got to pay if you're not like a premium member. Yeah, but a lot of people don't got bread for that shit. I'm not. Y'all be safe. Not me, though. <laughs> but like. Are you calling our viewers broke? No. I'm saying <laughs> y'all be safe. The people that. Yeah, bro. Some people can't afford it, bro. Let's be realistic. I mean, we living but, in a shit economy right now, bro. But you don't feel like charging for lyrics is so stupid? Like, you might as well just bro, hop on Google on genius, or Genius. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, just going. I don't even. Like, sometimes I don't even use, like, the Apple lyrics because they're late with it. I don't, I don't even be reading. Why, why are you reading the lyrics? Why are you just listening to the song? I don't know. I, I hear something, and maybe I didn't understand it, so I wanted, like, a breakdown of the bar. Or Plus I'll read the I read annotations lyrics. on the <laughs> I don't read yeet lyrics. lyrics. I read yeet lyrics. Yeah, you got to read those. Every now and then. <laughs> like, sometimes like, I was like, yeah, that nigga just said cranky. Yeah, yeah his performance was lit, but he could have been better. What performance? He performed in New York. I forgot you went to that. It was wild. At the time, he was starting out. So it was early on, but I saw his shows like after New York. He definitely got better. <laughs> I need to see him at a festival. Does he always wear the, the fucking ski mask? Nah, didn't he recently actually take it off? Yeah. He mad white. Look like a white bully. What is he? White. <laughs> like, he's like white? Mexican, I think. For real? Yeah, white and like Mexico, I think. So sure yeah, that. that's not right. He got an N-word pass from me, bro. I'm not going to lie, bro. Bro, I feel like every white person can say nigga as long as they ain't calling me nigga. Eh. Like, it depends on how you saying it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Like, any of my white mans can pull up on me like, what's good, my nigga? I'd be like, what's up, right? What's good, my nigga? What if it's, like, second encounter? Nah, I'm talking about, like, my white man. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, all my white mans got a nigga pass. Let me take that back. I don't, it's not all white people. All my white mans got a nigga. So, other Greg... Got it. Nah, not him. Nah, not Greg. him. I don't not even him. know him like that. I don't even know him. I met other Greg like three, four times. Shout out Greg, though. <laughs> Go listen to the album, other Greg. Yeah, Greg. He don't got Greg. no music out. Greg already, I think he fuck with my music. <laughs> nah, shout out Greg. That's not not this Greg. <laughs> I'm about to clap for Greg. <laughs> Greg don't got the pass, but shout out to him. Yeah, he don't got a nigga pass. I think, I ain't gonna lie, I think I might have drunkenly gave him a nigga pass. But like, I do that to every white person. <laughs> but like he don't got it <laughs> When you get let You make it a point For them to know That they need a pass Yeah Undrunk You don't got it Greg <laughs> <laughs> Yo I, I wonder what Greg Gonna think when you see this Sober Greg You can't say it <laughs> nah, nah Can't say it But if XV is drunk Feel free to call him one. <laughs> oh god You can say it if I'm drunk But I You gonna run into a Greg At like Staples Or some shit <laughs> nah, bro, because the Greg I'm talking about know who I'm like. Not all like yeah. I know <laughs> white Greg's, all, all, all white Greg's. Like, like, <laughs> you many yeah. all white Gregory's are? There's <laughs> a lot of white Greg's out. I feel like there's more white people named Greg. You might be I'm... the only black Greg I've like, ever met. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. You're like the only black Greg I know. We ain't talked about shit. We had though. About... Yo, have y'all seen? Have y'all seen that video of the that plane that had to get yes. put, like? Like, it had to get redirected because somebody had explosive diarrhea. <laughs> bro, there was a trailer. I've seen, I seen, I seen like They a, said it was a, a biohazard in that bitch. I ain't gonna lie, though. Think about it, though. Them <laughs> niggas was going all the way from, like, what? Like, Texas or some shit? Florida to, like, Imagine like, diarrhea France. flowing down. Some, like, like the they lane, was going far. Like, it wasn't going, like, <laughs> nowhere close. Know, they had to turn around. Like, that wasn't no domestic flight. They was, <laughs> yeah, like, they was going mad far. They had to turn around, bro. Like, nobody wanted to be on a whole flight. <laughs> Smelling shit from like the whole, like throughout the whole cabin. That's crazy. Well, First class toilet. smelling shit. I pay all this How money. How does that even happen? So what do you think they ate though? Like that how does Adam shit died? get everywhere though? They said it was from like word. Like how how does shit spill out the toilet? They must have been they must have been running to the toilet and that shit was like splooging like, yeah. like down there down there. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> down their leg, and it was just dropping, just dropping little shit particles everywhere. Ew. Like it got whoever shit it had to be in first class. And then I'm assuming that because it was diarrhea, they was trying to get to the bathroom in first class, which I'm going to assume is in the front, you know, in the front front. And then the diarrhea was so bad while they was trying to get to the bathroom that while they was walking through the aisle, it started, you know, they started shitting. But that was while the plane was going up. So that's how it got all throughout the plane. <laughs> Bruh you know said, we ain't talking about shit this whole time. And now we literally <laughs> talking about, talking about, shit, talking about right shit right there. Right oh, you think that means it got on someone's face? <laughs> oh, oh. Bruh, it's just shit everywhere. <laughs> I just hope that everybody on that plane listen to my project. <laughs> I hope they listen. I know they got shitted on. Imagine right. you listen to XV and you just want to shit. <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie, I'll be spitting that shit. It might get through me for real. Like, damn, this shit's so hard. Oh god, just <laughs> can't hold it back, you know? This shit explosive. <laughs> no, yeah. But yo, how y'all feel about TikTok just getting weird? <laughs> like, what have y'all seen the NPCs, like the nah, the glizzy gobbler guy? For giving me some, so nah, but shout out TikTok for giving me some money. You got money on TikTok. TikTok give you some yeah, bread. I, you be posting? I don't even know. Bro, I, I, do, I, I, that's why I just made a TikTok, bro, because like they gave me some money. That's why I'm saying, hold on, who the fuck? Is they gave you money randomly before nah, you even I'm had a TikTok? About, like, TikTok? I was real anti-TikTok until then. I was like, oh. <laughs> you like, oh, they paying me. Fuck some TikTok. <laughs> yeah, fuck <laughs> that. I barely use TikTok now because like, Sometimes I'll just be scrolling and get lost. I don't use it because I don't know how. You just swipe. You just like scroll. literally. Well, no, nah, I don't mean I'm not I don't even want to get into like the watching shit on TikTok. I don't I'm very I'm very still anti I'm anti TikTok the app, but like I'm in, I'm I'm pro TikTok giving me money. You yeah. could learn literally, like I said, through scrolling. Like you get to see like But what, like I don't wanna do nothing I see, bro. Everything sucks. So then do it yourself. Be different. I yeah, you could that I start I your own wave do. on I'm, some shit. I'm nah, no log gang. I'm a real boring nigga for real. Real. I think anyone who's seen this podcast is not going to agree with that. Your first story on the podcast was fucking hilarious. Which we're not talking about. That's in the first episode. <laughs> Let me first test it. I don't even remember that. You started talking about your job and how... I forgot what the guy's name was in the back. But, you know, we were talking oh, about yeah, road rage. Oh, yeah, like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> And that's yeah, when he was yeah, like, yeah. move, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my thing. Shut up, my thing. You dropping same day as Drake? Yo, bro, that would blow my... Nah, I, I, actually, I tell you the truth, like, not even... I'm trying to be smart with my drops, you know? I've been dropping on stupid-ass days because everybody Damn. drop on Fridays, you know what I'm saying? Yes, so sir. I'm trying to avoid everybody else's drop, even though I ain't in the industry. You could stuff. be different and just drop on random days. That's like, what I'm doing, bro. I done dropped on, like, a Tuesday. Dropping on Wednesday Fridays only matter, like, if you want maximum first week, so... Fuck that. I think that's a lie, my nigga. Because think about it. I'm not in the industry or nothing, but, like, nigga, if Drake dropped on the same day I dropped, niggas not going to listen to my shit, bro. Niggas going to go listen to Drake's shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. if if Dirk dropped on the same day I dropped, niggas fucking around, not, I hope not. If niggas going to listen to Lil Dirk over me. I mean, nah. Imagine, imagine, <laughs> imagine Uzi, Drake. Uzi, <laughs> if niggas go listen deluxe. to Uzi over me, like, it's like, I understand it because it's Uzi, but, like, I'm going to be mad. Like, come on. <laughs> Don't listen to Uzi over me. That's crazy. Drake over me. It's like, I'm mad, but I get it. You know, Drake, it apparently, time. oh, I did see something today. Uh, Drake had like some fucking beads in his hair. Fuck all that. Numbers. September I remember what I want to talk about now. This nigga tripping, son. We going back to last oh, yeah. I'm trying to, Bro, <laughs> I'm trying to warn you, bro. Drake, like people are theorizing he might drop on 922 because those were like the numbers that he had in his head. Cool, because like, I'm not driving on that day. Conspiracy this theory This nigga ass. right here bro I'm going just saying. back First of all I want to say Views One of Drake's Worst albums What? Like, you said that's the worst album? It's one of his worst albums But it does have like Two of like His best songs on it Even though he's not On one of those songs But Nigga Nothing after Views Was far? Bro I said after C.O.B. No you didn't I just watched Go that watch this like, shit yeah, back I Just watch Go watch this shit back Nigga said after Views That's why I was so mad Go watch this shit back. You that I nah. You said views, I'm not gonna gang. lie. I think you said views. Like you bro, said, you it was said a views. quality drop off views. after views. Yeah. Like, come on, that's crazy. <laughs> to Drake even... fan, views was the quality drop. It was. It was. It was fire for the time. But like, come on, bro. Did we really need fucking uh one dance, my nigga? Like, come on. Right, we can live without one dance. But... You know what I'm saying? But we gonna act like Western Road flows. It's we gonna act album, like nine. But it's you know, like fire and desire was fire. Fire and desire. I didn't bring this up last episode. What about the year after, nigga? More life. Was heat. My life was great. Straight heater. That's what I, I said yeah, after CLB. CLB. If I got to pull up the clip, I'll pull it up. Pull it up. 
I'm about to pull it up. I, bro, I edited the video. I heard myself thousands of times. Bro, I watched it <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> so like two, I was, I was eating. That, was it yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. Nigga, I was eating my taco beans. I was like, I don't got nothing to eat. I mean, nothing to watch. But I don't eat. You know what I'm saying? So I'm eating my taco beans. Like, Everything past CLB, I can't really like, really like like his music. Past CLB, but, but, on to the beginning. <laughs> oh god, oh, your shit though. Oh god, all right. You said it that time, but the right. oh, search and rescue, search and rescue, kind of. Which allegedly is a sister dish. Fuck, why the fuck would that be a sister dish? Yo, yo, Marv, people was telling me, like, he got that shit off of TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> That's the crazy part. I don't even watch TikTok. <laughs> something about, like, a yo, I don't know. I don't know who was in the comments being a hater, but I'm not, I'm not no Drake hater. Like, they would. He was funny well, saying, I, I, I ain't gonna lie. And that I'm episode, an I couldn't dude. tell if he was a Drake hater or a Drake stan. It, I was confused. It was <laughs> I like, think I'm not gonna lie. for Drake fans. I ain't gonna lie, it is. That's true. <laughs> Out of all of us, I feel like Chris is like the most like OVO goon here, bro. Like, this nigga got CLB merch. Bro, I'm wearing knock this right now. Oh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> damn. And this is my second pair again. Oh. <laughs> like, not to he, be the stan. You got the he, socks. Yeah. He, he, the not, socks, he got me, bro. He got the whole shoe. I got two of them. <laughs> <laughs> the socks. <laughs> what's a sock? What's a sock in a fucking shirt? Sock <laughs> and <laughs> shit, gang. A sock and shit. There's nothing. I got the shoe. And y'all, I'm not. I'm not a Drake hater. I just want better from him. I don't, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna turn to a Drake stand on this motherfucker, bro. But fuck you, mean you want better from him, bro? He been on top for like a decade. Bro. Yo, he he Who's thought smoking this nigga, bro. Who? He thought that Drake and Twenty One Savage shit was fire. It he was. was fucking with it it was, was good. Fine. It was it was okay. It was into me. She was fine. I mean, it was, was okay, but it wasn't nothing crazy. I went out late night trying to slide on bitches. Uh, 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 stop playing, bro. Nigga was sliding. <laughs> nigga on like every track, man. Sliding, nigga sliding. He was sliding, bro. Every track, man. Like, come on, bro. Stop, bro. Hey, how y'all all <laughs> light skin? I think that. that's what it is. Y'all niggas is light skin. Y'all y'all light skin, so y'all mad because he light skin and he 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 on top. He the, he the top light skin. That's not at all. The he way the I'm top thinking. dog. That's, he the top light skin dog. He, he is the top light skin. Is it weird that I don't like seeing light skins win? Like, what? <laughs> See, bro, what he want to be the only shit, winning bro. light skin nigga, bro. <laughs> He's He's niggas, I'm winning, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Not like, 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 like minutes, Patrick bro. Mahomes, like just looking at him just upsets me. <laughs> like, <laughs> nigga, you look like Patrick Mahomes, bro. I ain't gonna lie, you dead. You look like, look like Mahomes, that nigga, bro. <laughs> Yo, bro. He just makes me upset. Look at Chris. Like, you dead dude look like that. Tell me he don't look like Patrick Mahomes, bro. You dead dude bro. look like that nigga. I ain't gonna lie. He gets mad when I bring up that comparison, bro. Because, bro, I'm my own entity. My own entity. Your own like light skin entity. Fuck Patrick Mahomes. Bro, don't disrespect. He's my fantasy football quarterback, bro. Don't I disrespect. I don't give a I fuck. I thought he was about to say some real gay shit. Like, no. Like, I thought he was about to be like, yo, yo, that's the only nigga I'll give a hard pass to. <laughs> no, bro. No, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, yo, look bro, like he like, look. <laughs> that's twin right there. That's big, bro. Nah, like at first, like not even at first, but <laughs> <laughs> at first you thought you looked like him. No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> you the do only thing like that him. that looks remotely even like him is just my hair. Plus, no, he got a he got an ugly ass mullet. I am about to get waves. I'm about to cut this shit. <laughs> I'm done with these allegations. Comment down below if you think I actually look like that nigga. That new XV dropping. <laughs> Next month, I got another single coming. Say all this you. month, another shameless plug. His last two like singles was written and produced by himself. Oh God! First of all, uh, Lavi is like maybe like it's the second beat I ever made. Like you know, what I'm saying I made that, that eyes. That's the second beat you it's ever the second made. Second beat I ever made. I made that shit like shit. a year ago or like a year and a half maybe. That's why it was a while ago. And it was like the first beat of mine that I ever recorded on, so I was hyped as fuck. So but, how how long was Levy in the in the vault? For a while. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I be I be talking shit, bro. I swear to God. All this shit been in the vault for a while, bro. Yeah, shit, shit. Is, I be talking shit, bro. But um, yeah, that was like the second beat I ever made, bro. And it came out pretty hard. Can we hear like a little snippet from the upcoming project? Just like, like it don't even gotta be like, it could be like two seconds, like dead eyes for the audience. Course, like, course, play that shit. It is. I yo, why is it called this? <laughs> it's called New Pedal Pete. Oh, yo. This is a snippet of They Love XV on his newest album. Yeah, we ain't clicking, they can't be the vision. Be empowered with gang on a mission. Waste of style on the nail switching. I ain't piling with nobody different. I had to switch. 
trap, but we can't do division. I won't speak if my name isn't mentioned. My mom told me that I've been on games for infant. Living back where I came, it's a blessing. This shit been a ride with a handful of lessons. Alright, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. That's all you got. Tune in. You got it. Tune in, my nigga. Comment down below. You know how your week has been. Get involved with us. You ain't even read the comment for for this week. I well, nobody. Well, you, pro- you promised. Ass. You promised nah. them that you was all right. Gonna read all right. You all promised. Right. I'll say it. I'll it was say all it. ass. It was all. Nobody ass. really commented how their week was, but Osas did comment. My my week was great, and I, I you I know I, I appreciate Osas, I appreciate that comment. That comment did make Yo, Osas, laugh. We're, we're happy you're having a great week, and we hope you have another great week. Exactly, Shout out Osas. Bro. Have a great. Mad week. love to you, Osas. We love you, bro. Shout out Osas. Right. <laughs> Osas, we appreciate you. Can I do one more plug on? Go ahead. Yo. It's pretty. Y'all see that? All right, cool. Shout out JL. Jonah. Shout out JL. Just smile. Thank you guys for watching. This is episode three of the Interpersonal Podcast. We'll be back next week. We're changing the upload days. We are no longer uploading on Fridays. We'll be uploading on Mondays now. Yeah. So the start of the week, you can start it Interpersonal. Tell us like some things that you would like us to talk about, discuss. Get involved with the conversation. Get interpersonal with us. We love you. Thank you for the support. It's been great so far. Get in tune with XV. Again, another shameless plug. Been mad at those this episode. Fuck with his music. Like forever. Don't forget, They Love XV is dropping soon.